the French press, waste of money or most amazing coffee maker ever? Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Spots. So as you can probably guess, today we are talking about the French press. I made a video recently about coffee, and in the comments, somebody, and I, I you have to forgive me, I don't remember the name of the person who left the comment, but somebody mentioned the French press, said it was awesome, said I should try it out, possibly being a good, uh, viable solution for people with low vision. So. My wife and I happened to be at Ikea in Cincinnati recently and they had this guy and they were selling them for $10. So I'm like, you know, 10 bucks, you can't beat that. My wife and my son um, both drink tea. So if it doesn't work for coffee, then, you know, at least they could probably still use it for tea. So I figured I'd grab it, give it a shot. I'm sure it's not the best well-built one in the world, um, but surprisingly, it actually does a really good job. So now there's two ways to make coffee with a French press. Uh, you can put the coffee grounds in there and pour some boiling water in. You let it sit for three minutes and then plunge the grounds to the bottom and your coffee's ready to go. There's also the cold brew method, which uh, this person, this individual recommended that. And that is where you put your grounds in, you pour just cold or room temperature water in and then you let it sit for uh, up to 12 hours. I think minimum seven hours, maximum 12 hours, something like that. Usually a good rule is overnight. So then when you come back to it, eight hours, 10 hours later, your coffee is ready. Uh, you can drink it cold, which ugh, is gross. <laughs> or you can heat it up and uh, drink it like regular. So it's actually really easy to prepare the French press and prepare coffee using the French press. One benefit is no filters. So you can save money on that. You don't have to struggle with trying to pull a filter and separate you know, one filter out of the pack of filters um, <clears throat> because it filters the coffee itself. Another benefit, you don't have to worry about trying to see the buttons on a coffee machine, uh, trying to program a coffee machine and struggling with the tiny little LCD and all those kind of things. So in those regards, it would be much easier for people with low vision. But enough about that, let's make some coffee. All right, so very simple, you just need some coffee. Now, admittedly, you really wanna use fresh ground coffee. Uh, you wanna get some beans and a coffee grinder and grind them up fresh every time you make your coffee. That's, that would be ideal. You're gonna get the best tasting, the, the freshest cup of coffee possible. But I am lazy, I'm cheap, I don't wanna buy a coffee grinder um, early in the morning before I've had my coffee. That's one more step that I don't wanna to have to deal with. So I just get regular coffee. And I found that it works fine. So to make things easier for me, I just have a measuring cup and I get roughly one scoop. I think this is a half cup. I've measured it out to where this is how much coffee I need for three cups of water. So right into the French press. And now we need some water. So we have our boiling water here, and we're going to pour it in. Now, of course, you want to be very careful. You want to pour in a little bit, and then use a fork or one of those fancy bamboo whisks that the baristas would use to, to stir this up. Once again, I'm cheap, I don't need to buy that. 
And then you want to pour in the rest of your water as much as you want. Uh, I know for, for my amount of coffee, that's about as far as I want to go. Now you want to put the top on and just let it sit. This needs to steep for, as I said earlier, about three minutes. It's actually a really nice day today. We've had really hot weather and today is the first day that it's been cool in the 70s. So yeah, loving it. Got the doors open, all the windows open. Anyway, now it's very simple. The plunger has a, a rubber gasket around the edge and a little spring to hold it in place. You just want to slowly press down and there is some resistance. Uh, but firm pressure all the way down and it should go all the way down the bottom and you are left with delicious coffee it's just that simple so that's it guys that is the french press in a nutshell it's actually really easy and it's easy to use. Um, I gotta say, I think I prefer the cold press method. And I wanna thank the viewer who mentioned that in the comment. Uh, they're very right, it's, it's just so easy. Late at night, before I go to bed, I just throw some coffee grinds in there, put some water in, set it on the counter, just leave it. And then when I wake up in the morning, plunge it, pour it, heat it up in the microwave, and I'm done. Another benefit to the cold press method, and uh, this is just what I heard, I can't verify anyway, but they said that it's a much gentler coffee on your stomach because it doesn't have as much acid in it. Uh, it also has more caffeine, so yeah, that's a bonus. <laughs> but like I said, I, I don't notice any difference. I love hazelnut coffee. I get this Folgers hazelnut ground coffee. I took a scoop of this. I did about half a scoop of this this morning and half a scoop of regular Maxwell House in the French press. I did the cold, pre cold brew last night. Had a cup this morning. A little bit of cream, a little bit of sugar. Oh my lord, it was delicious. It was a great cup of coffee. Strong hazelnut flavor, uh, nice and sweet. I mean, granted, that's because I put way too much sugar in, but <laughs> that's the way I drink my coffee. But it was awesome. It was wonderful. So much better than it would have been in my coffee maker. Now, I'm not giving up my coffee maker completely. Uh, I love its ease of use. You know, I wake up in the morning, I'm groggy. I just come down, I push a button on the coffee maker. I go sit down for a little while, come back, and my coffee's ready. Pour my cup, I'm good to go. Now, is it better for people with low vision? I gotta say it might be. I don't have to wrestle with a filter. I don't have to mess with the buttons on my coffee machine, trying to pour the water in that tiny little reservoir opening in the back of the coffee machine. I've made a video about that at work. The coffee maker at work is a nightmare. So in that regard, yes, this would be better for people with low vision. All right, but that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching. This is Sam with The Blind Spot. If you have any questions in the future, please let me know down below. If you have any suggestions, things you want me to try, this was a good suggestion. Thank you very much, once again. Uh, just leave those down in the comments below as well. As always, guys, if you liked the video, be sure to hit that like button. If you want to stay up to date with all the videos coming out in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching, guys. This is Sam with The Blind Spot. I'll see you next time.